Hey, this is Dan. If you've been following the real estate market virtually anywhere in the country for the last year or two, or five, or ten, you've probably heard that we have a housing shortage, an inventory problem. But does it just mean that we don't have enough houses in this country? Not exactly. So what does it mean? Well, you're about to find out. In residential real estate, when we talk about housing inventory, we're not talking numbers of homes. We actually measure inventory in time. Specifically, housing inventory is how long it would take at the current rate of sales to sell off all the houses for sale if nothing new came to the market. So for example, if you had 10 houses for sale in a particular area and every month one of them sold, you'd have 10 months of inventory. That's not a great example because virtually nowhere in this country is there 10 months of inventory. But the math was easy and I like to keep it simple for myself. It used to be that we thought, well, six months is kind of the threshold. If there's more than six months of inventory, it's a buyer's market. They have a lot to choose from and can take their time. If there's less than six months of inventory, it's a seller's market. They, buyers had better kind of get on it, make their decisions quickly. So what's inventory look like in Portland right now? Well, as of June, we have 1.4 months of inventory in our area. So yeah, it's a seller's market again. Or should I say still? Take a look here at the numbers for the last three years. Inventory in Portland just does not creep up. And again, it's not because we don't have enough houses here. We just have more demand for housing than we do supply for sale to meet that demand. I'll be frank, no one saw this coming. If you go back a year and look at what real estate projections looked like then, there was talk of markets starting to flatten out, inventory starting to go up, days on market, meaning the time it takes for you to sell your house, getting longer. Prices were starting to sort of flatten out a little bit. There were rumors they might even take a drop somewhere. And then the weirdest thing happened. The entire world got hit with a health scare, a pandemic. And somehow or another, the pandemic has boosted the real estate market. I don't know of anyone who saw that coming, but that's what's happened. Primarily because inventory, in terms of the number of people trying to sell, I should choose my words more carefully, but the number of houses for sale has gone down. And in some cases, demand has gone up because interest rates have remained super duper low. So yeah, COVID has helped boost the real estate market in most areas across the country which is weird. So does this mean it's a good time for you to sell your house? Not necessarily. I've always argued the best time for you to do it is when it fits best into your life. And data can't really support that one way or the other. But if you have any questions about how the market has responded in your area or what inventory looks like in your area, reach out and let me know. Thanks again for tuning in. We look forward to talking to you next time.